Hey guys, it is Sage Addington and I am the editor for the Arts and Culture section as well as the webmaster for GHS News. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this amazing experience I got to have thanks to the Art123 Gallery. So um, I was recently featured in the Art123 Gallery for the Mega Mini Show and I had three 2.5 by 2.5 inch paintings featured and that was really awesome but a lot of my friends keep asking like oh how did you get this opportunity did they reach out to you or did you talk to them so I just want to clear the air a little bit so um I was hanging out at the co-op with my mom and I saw a flyer for the art gallery and it was advertising their mega mini show saying what kind of art they were looking for um a deadline and it had their email at the bottom so I had about four days and I decided to paint three small paintings. I painted my grandparents' house twice and then a peach pit. And I e <laughs> Rocco be quiet. And I emailed Rose, the I guess director of the art gallery, and uh, I waited a couple days. And during those couple days, I guess a council of artists or something were looking through all of the submissions they have received to decide which ones they would have in the gallery. And since mine were so tiny, they decided that they wanted to use mine. So I got an email back and they emailed me with the contract attached. So the contract details installing, uninstalling, uh, your supplies, insurance, image use, payout, and also includes an inventory list. So the installing and uninstalling is really important. You have to provide your own supplies, you know? So like if you nail it into the wall, you're expected to fix the wall afterwards, you know, so that everything's clean for the next artist to come. So my paintings were really tiny and I decided to use command strips, which I heard a lot of other artists have used. I am stuttering so much, I apologize. So I mentioned that there was an inventory list, and I have mine right here. The inventory list basically includes the title of your art, the medium your art was made in, the name of the artist, and the price if you decide to sell your art. Now I would talk about this inventory list because this really comes in handy with making your artist labels. Now I've never made artist labels before, so I have no idea how this works, to be honest with you. So I googled it and WikiHow told me. <laughs> and what WikiHow basically said is it's the same information that's on your inventory list. So this is what I printed out on cardstock paper and I cut out my labels. So there is my name. I decided to add the year I was born since I'm only 17. Um, the size because it is a tiny art show. So all that stuff is important. Um, and yeah, you just tape it to the wall. It's really not that big of a setting up process. And I thought it would be a lot harder having not gone into this before, but it was a 